these are Edison battery powered fans. Uh, these three all date to the early 1890s. On the left, a six blade C clamp bipolar fan. In the center, an iron clad. And on the right, a C frame bipolar four blade. For purposes of demonstration, this is connected to a single Edison Olan cell. It'll be running on approximately 4.5 volts DC. This fan can be identified as a very early example by virtue of the fact that it has a cast brass plate very thick rather than a stamped thin brass plate. It has six coils in the armature rather than 12, and sleeve bearings rather than ball bearings, which came out in 1898. This fan would date to approximately 1892 to 1894 or 5, thereabouts. The ironclad fan is the rarest of the Edison battery fans. It's very small. The blades measure only 7 inches in diameter rather than 9 inches on the conventional fans. The early ones, such as this one, which dates to about 1893, had no cage around the blade, so they're a little bit dangerous to uh, work around. The blades spin at 100 RPMs. The rear of the fan has a glass window, which can be removed and allows uh, inspection of the commutator and the brushes. The Edison iron clad was supplied with a heavy oak box with three large Edison Lalonde cells. This is what constituted a battery. In those days the term implied more than one single cell. However, the old literature does say that the fans will operate on one or two cells. In the mid-1890s, the ironclad was supplied with a cage to protect the blades. This was a major safety feature. In 1898, the ironclad was redesigned. The motor was entirely changed. The glass back was removed, and the commutator was on the outside of the rear of the case. At this time, they also used ball bearings instead of sleeve bearings. The final version of the ironclad came out in 1900 with a totally redesigned cage. The price of the ironclad varied over the 1890s. When it first came out, it was $15.50, including the battery. That went up to $25 by 1898, but the price dropped down to $19 in 1900. The ironclad was always approximately two-thirds the price of the larger C-frame bipolar fans. The floor blade Edison fan is the most common version. This one is relatively early. 
It has sleeve bearings rather than ball bearings, so it predates 1898. It also has a nickel-plated brass nameplate with no serial number. This would put the fan somewhere around 1896. This particular fan is completely unrestored. It's all the original paint finish, brass, even the brushes are original. <laughs>